Hi guys and welcome back to part three of this uh, camper van conversion. Uh, just uh, to show you what we're up to at the minute, uh, we've got the uh, the data cable that came for the uh, the Truma combo heater that's coming in. So that panel now is all screwed up and fixed and ready to be lined. Uh, but I have made a, a good start on this overhead bunk uh, that I've been talking about. Um, I don't know if you can see from this angle. Uh, I've got a metal bar that comes down from the actual ceiling there underneath to support this this back end here. Uh, all this uh, is shaped in obviously from top to bottom and into the front as well to give it that rigidity from front to back so that's one solid piece going along there. If you notice everything is uh, is sicker flexed in as well uh, so it's not only it's not just glued it's, it's got the proper sicker flexing uh, and obviously see the boxing in that I've done there. I've put sicker flexing near enough around everything um, it just stops because there's so much wood touching one another um, you can get uh, squeaking in the movement when you're traveling and things like that, even when you're using it. So I've put Sikaflex in all the joints as you can see there, just to stop that, that squeak, uh, just give it that quality feel as well. Um, so as you can see I've, I've boarded all that out uh, down that side. Um, I've got the extra battens on the front here. Um, you notice I've, I've put an angle on everything, I've chamfered everything, just, just for... <sighs> Well, it looks better cosmetically, but also, especially this side, because there's going to be a seat here and a seat here. Um, if somebody gets up too quick and bangs their head, at least if it's uh, a slant and a uh, slightly rounded part, it's not going to hurt as much. Um, uh, it's probably taken, I would say, probably the best part of just over a day to get all to where I'm up to this point now. Uh, I had the idea of me out of what I wanted to do. Uh, I've got it how I want it, but actually getting it there was was a bit of a struggle. I've obviously got this this point here that this this went in first, uh, and this was put in, and that's obviously straight. Uh, the problem that I had on this side, the camera doesn't seem to be focusing. There we go. Uh, the problem I had on this side is that obviously um, I put timber battens up behind here to go over this big lump of metal that's in the, in the middle so which obviously brings this part slightly out so I've had to pack it out slightly to get it uh, level I mean going across here now so it's the same distance at the front going across as it is going at this point here um, that was a difficult part uh, but I've got that now that's all sorted uh, the next part that I need to do now, I need to, to beef this bit up a bit here because uh, this is going to be taking a bit of weight. I've prepared some parts for that um, so I'm going to start putting them on now. And obviously I've got to house the, uh, the courtesy light up here as well so I'm going to box all this off. Obviously I don't want this metal showing neither so um, I'll, uh, I'll start preparing them and I'll take another video. Okay, so we've got all them pieces in place now. Um, courtesy light working. We've we've extended that. I don't even remember it was on that side. I've extended the wiring, and it's come down and across. Uh, that's how we managed to get it there. Uh, so this now, uh, I've got it rounded off there, as you can see. Um, inch thick, all sicker flex and screwed together. That is really strong. Really happy with that. Uh, I've got that back piece there uh, covering the metal so there's no metal work showing. If you see there I've got them all interlinked. Um, that one there I put some screws through so it, it's it's yeah it's strong. It is really strong. I've got that ply underneath there to house that so obviously 
that links all that into there as well so it's uh, it's really strong that now I've got a, little, a gap here which I'll, I will finish off uh, at a later date when I come to do the carpeting um, this bit here as you're getting in and out uh, I'm going to be cutting putting on what what we call a nutcracker uh, it's basically uh, some foam wrapped in the upholstery that uh, they're going to be using and I'm going to put that over the edge so anybody getting in and out the first thing they're going to hit is uh, is this so we, we've got to put something over that for protection uh, for banging the head so uh, next job now uh, I'm going to be putting a piece of ply over these holes just to, to flatten everything off because I'm going to be lining the roof next um, as well all this has got to be carpeted as well so I've got a got a bit of a job on my hands with that one but um, we'll get round it but yeah the first one is going to be the full roof and then dropping down into the front corner there so that's all going to be one piece it's probably the biggest biggest part of I've done on, on carpeting to be honest with you because usually the smaller vans that I'm, I'm carpeting but uh, it'll be uh, be a good one but uh, I'll take a video of it anyway we'll see how we go on okay so that's the roof trimmed as you can see we've got the uh, the lights recessed in there that carpet's gone in nicely uh, that's going to create a nice effect that for the uh, for the lights there's the other one there uh, all the back there is trimmed up re really nicely um, I don't think I showed you on the other videos but I have put a piece of wood straight across behind there and underneath as well to, to get rid of them holes um, for a couple of reasons the metal I don't even remember on this side was distorted quite a bit so I needed to straighten that up and get rid of that but with carpet as well um, you can't just leave these these holes uh, empty um, after time uh, especially around right around the edges as well you'll notice they darken um, with the doors opening and shutting and pulling dust in and out of them and things like that so you need to get them covered so that's why I've I've covered them up as well but obviously we had the, the metal problem on that side but that's turned out really nice and neat that across the back there uh, I've got the the points that I've got to put back in and obviously the rubber on yet but uh, I can't do that until I've I've got the size done and then going down towards the front uh, that's trimmed up really nicely right into the corners 
can see there and down into the bottom as well. Um, doing a flat roof like this should be straightforward, but especially with the four-way stretch stuff, if you get an ever so slight kink as you're rubbing it through, you, you can get creases in it. So you've got to be really careful. That's why I got Chris to give me a lift with it, uh, with it being such a big uh, piece. Uh, but that's done now. Um, I'm going to be moving on to, to this side because that's the next biggest one uh, after that. But obviously I've got some bits to trim off here um, and I've got to cut and get the carpet ready and prep that as well. And obviously I've got this obstacle to get over as well uh, on this one. Um, but uh, we're coming towards the end of the day now, so it's probably going tomorrow when I pick that up. Uh, so I'll get everything prepped and I'll, uh, I'll get ready to take the video in the morning. Uh, but yeah, that's gone up nicely, so I'll get everything prepped and I'll, uh, I'll take another video. okay so we've got nearly everything lined out uh, as you can see there I've come round towards the uh, the door there that's all lined off um, all down that side by the wheel arch obviously um, I've got all the windows pulled in and I don't remember if um, on the last video I had the timber rails uh, bonded to the metal uh, that was so that the carpet here could glue to this point as well and look on the other side as well as the back so it gives it plenty of strength and plenty of grab. That's what them rails were there for as well, and obviously to give that that guide for the carpet to something to something to go to. Um, but we've pulled up quite nice. The other thing is with this now, obviously the blind will will cover a lot of that. It was just when you looked internally, you'd see that it was all trimmed off properly. But they've come out really nice. Same with the uh, the kitchen one as well. Obviously everything's uh, pulled through for the wires. Uh, this for the bedding, um, as you can see, is uh, is all wrapped. I've got uh, that in one piece, more or less, as well, because I didn't want the joint on the edge there, because that's where the boards will be rubbing. Uh, up top as well. All trimmed off nice and neat. Coming back there. All this is in one piece all the way around 
and up the back. That was a bit tricky, but I got it all in one. I'm going to be doing this separate. I've got another idea for this one um, to line that out, so I'm, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, I've got this side as well. Um, obviously, the over the the kitchen will be the uh, over the fridge will be the wardrobe, so that's panelled off. And obviously, this is where the seat and the lock was going, so that needed to be done. Um, as you can see. This is where the shower ply is going to go, so that didn't need doing. But uh, we've got the corners uh, lined off as well. Uh, and the back doors. Um, I couldn't use, the, well, I used part of the panels, the pattern, should I say, uh, that I had for these back doors. Let me shut this. Uh, but because of the height, I had to change it slightly. But they've gone on nicely. Uh, I've not cut this window out yet because I've put some Sikaflex around the outside of that to make it solid before I pull that in and I'm just on with sliding door, I've got the bottom half done uh, I've got the panel there ready and uh, cut to size, I've just got to sort the window out on that front so we've got uh, more or less all, all of that done uh, I don't know if you notice the gap at the bottom there and obviously we've got a, a gap at the top that's because this, this side is actually seven foot tall and the carpet's only six foot six wide. But it doesn't matter because we've got to, um, we've got to raise this floor at four inches anyway, so we're going to lose that down there. And that normally gets boxed in anyway because of these um, metal parts here. So it won't be seen. Um, floor's down, cut the floor, got that bonded down last night. Um, and again, all the holes that you saw from the previous video, they're all filled in. Uh, put weights on it overnight, there's no screws in this at all. It's just bonded down with sickle flex overnight with some weights. Um, so yeah, I think we'll leave it there for this video. Uh, next video is going to be looking at furniture uh, and getting all the petitions in and starting off. Um, probably start with the back end to be honest with you with the shower, get some petitions made for that and probably move forward. I'm not sure yet, I might change my mind on that one but uh, that's what I'm thinking anyway. But um, yeah, uh, if you've got any questions or comments or anything like that, please don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.